What is up guys, Kenny here and welcome to my how to download the iOS 7 software for iPhone 5, iPhone 4, iPhone 4S, iPod, the iPod 4, I do believe it's the iPod 4th generation and onwards, and the iPod 2, or I, iPad 2 onwards. So into the video we go, as you can see on the screen we're going to be using two links. First of all we want to plug the iPhone in, as you can see I am running running it absolutely fine iOS 7 it is the full official version as you can see I've got it it's the new it is really smart as you can see we've got the full the full version no glitches or anything as you can see so you can see my stuff on there so we'll pop that down and we're going to go and as you can see on the screen we're going to be using two links so we'll nip into iTunes we'll just click, click OK on that we go on to the iPhone as you can see I am running iOS 7 so your iPhone software is up to date, iTunes will automatically check for an update on the 15th of the 6th. So, what we're going to do guys, we're going to go back to the internet, as you can see how I'm, I'm downloading something. We're going to go to this website which is felixbruns.d, I do believe that's German, but don't, don't, don't worry if it's not, because it doesn't really make a difference. So, as you can see, we'll just leave the iPhone there, it is plugged into the PC via the uh, Thunderbolt cable, of course. We're then going to go and we're going to choose it for iPhone. As you can see, what we need to do is we need to update to the latest official software, which is iOS 6.1.4 for the iPhone 5, and it is slightly later for other other um, other Apple devices. So we're going to scroll down. We're going to go to iPhone 5, and as you can see, it's the 6.1.4. So we'd click that and you click download. It will then move to the bottom of the screen down here, and that will download. Bearing in mind that. But depending on your internet connection, it took me around 15 minutes to download that, guys. So don't worry if it takes a little bit longer. And then, after that is downloaded, you leave that and you go to the second link. All these links will be in the description below. Then you go to this link, which is gdlux.com forward slash iOS dash 7 dash downloads. And as you can see, so far, there is actually not an iPad download here. There is only iPhone and iPod Touch 5th generation. So you need to be very careful here guys. On the back, as you can see of your iPhone, you have all this and you need to go and check this model number. On my specific one, it is A1429. It is very, very important you get that correct guys. So you're gonna have to download either A1429 or A1428 and it is very, very important. I cannot stress enough how important it is to get the correct one. So just check that guys and make sure you are downloading the correct the correct software for your device and then what you're going to do you're going to go to your iTunes and as you can see guys I am definitely running the iOS 7 so we'll go here and we are going to do this again it's very important I'm going to show you on the camera now on the keyboard you are going to press shift and mouse control I'll bring my mouse over here so you're going to press shift and mouse control on restore iPhone so let me just move my mouse there I'm trying to pick my mouse up and leave it and restore. So I'll move this. So you're going to click and shift. So it's shift down and click. And it says iTunes cannot restore iPhone because my iPhone is on. Let me just give that a second go, guys. Shift and click. Use iCloud settings on your iPhone to turn off my. Let me just turn that off. We're going to go to iCloud. I will be back in a second, guys, when I sorted this out. Okay, so we are back, guys. And we'll just pop that down there and move the keyboard. So I'm just going to do that exactly the same again. It is, we'll click OK. We'll click Shift and Restore. So as you can see in Downloads, you can put them wherever you like, but I tend to just leave my stuff in Downloads, whereas a lot of people actually tend to put their stuff on their desktop. It is personal preference, just in my opinion. I believe that it is better to just leave it in your Downloads. But again, that is up to you guys. So we're going to click this one, 6.1.4, and click Open. This will now erase and restore your iPhone, and will verify the restore with Apple. So guys, this does take a, this is a long, long process. It does take around half an hour. I don't think you are going to do it in around 10 minutes. So as you can see, it's just extracting the software and going through the process. So as you can see, the iPhone is still working absolutely fine while it extracts the software. It'll then go through a few more steps. So as you can see, it's verifying the iPhone restore with Apple. And I'll be back in one second, guys. 
when that is all finished and we are back restore to 6.1.4 okay guys so we are back with the second part and as you can see it has restored itself to 6.1.4 so iphone we'll just set this up quickly we'll connect to my network we, we won't do that actually we'll just next uh, disable location services next okay that's fine set up as new phone it is very important you set up as new phone and we're now going to do that on itunes we're not we are we don't want to restore this we want to set up as new phone so it's saying sync we can set up as new phone we can skip this step skip and skip this step agree agree don't use siri for now next don't send next start using iphone as you can see we're back to the old 6.1.4 guys so we're now going to upgrade to the we're now going to upgrade to get started i'm going to upgrade now done iphone so we're going to go back to seven we're going to go to summary okay that's fine so we'll put that down guys and again we're going to do the shift shift and left click on the mouse so we do that and we don't want restore we want this one and it is the ios 7.0 we will update and it's going to go through the same long process guys it's preparing to update the software so this will start doing it in a second we're just going to leave that to do its own thing okay done so we want to upgrade this has it upgraded it's just extracting the software again guys so it's going to go through the same process as when we downgraded so i'll be back with you guys in a second when it is back and we should have ios 7.0 so as you can see i'm just going to wait a second i'll just see that as you can see you can see the camera there but as you can see we are just going through this one and you'll get a little spinny round and that's just preparing the iPhone for software update, as you can see in the top bar there. So I'll be back in one second, guys, when that is finished. It is now connecting, and we're going to be back in one second when that's finished, guys. Okay, guys, so we are back with the final part. You can see I've got a... Uh, and we're back with iOS 7.0. So, guys, as you saw the screen with the new iPhone before, you may have to do that for the 7.0 if you've restored, then gone back. So guys, that is about it for my tutorial. As you'll see on the screen now, we can get all our stuff today. If I go back to my one from earlier, restore and use older backup. So guys, that is now restoring all my stuff. I'll get all my contacts on there, all my applications and everything. So hopefully you've enjoyed my tutorial. Hopefully it was nice and easy, nice and straightforward. And you've now got iOS 7.0 100% working. If you have any problems, feel free to leave a comment in the in the comments section below and I will be sure to try and help you out. If you want any more videos about iOS 7.0, be sure to leave a comment. And thank you very much for watching, guys.